What's up, America? This is old Jim Bob from Jim Bob's Commentary Channel and Fake News Network coming to you from a secret location somewhere in America. Well, uh, as I said in a previous uh, video, I've been watching the Netflix about uh, the goings on in Washington, D.C., and the politics up there and uh, all the corruption and everything. And it got me to thinking. Well, why in the hell did America vote for Trump? Uh, and uh, it uh, just got me to thinking about that. So uh, I come up with my conclusion of uh, why you folks, uh, not me, uh, voted for Trump. And this is uh, basically the outline of it. When you watch uh, any new politician uh, come on the scene, the first thing he wants to do is distance himself from the status quo of Washington. He says, I'm an outsider, I'm different, uh, I'm going to do things differently up in Washington whenever you vote for me, and uh, I get up there. And uh, so uh, Trump is the epitome of that. Uh, Ross Perot was too when he ran earlier. If you are young enough, you know that Ross Perot ran, I believe it was 84. And uh, he did the same thing, but he didn't make it, see. And uh, But uh, uh, Trump, he had uh, $10 billion to stick behind his thing, too. And so uh, what he did is he, he convinced you that he was different. And by God, I agree, he is different. Uh, and he would do things differently in Washington, D.C. And I also agree that he's doing things differently in Washington, D.C. But what uh, the average American citizen, I think, uh, failed to see that voted for him, is that uh, although he is different and he does do things differently, uh, his uh, interest is not for the uh, best of all American citizens, only the rich and the uh, famous uh, like him. And uh, he uh, does not uh, really uh, understand or have any inclination of what it's like to live on $20,000 a year or less. And uh, he uh, uh, thinks that uh, if all the rich people have got enough money and get much more money that uh, everybody else will get a job and this, that, and the other. And he's sorely misguided there. Uh, but what he did, uh, like uh, other politicians, he said, I'm different. Vote for me and I'll change things in Washington, D.C. Well, you can see he's been up there a year or two and uh, ain't nothing changed. And uh, whenever he um, finishes his four-year term, and God forbid that he gets another four-year term, but if he does and he runs a full uh, gambit of eight years, you'll see that Donald Trump is not going to change one damn thing in Washington, D.C. If you look at the history of mankind, or I'm sorry, the history of the United States, going all the way back to the um, very beginning, you'll see that Washington is uh, set up as a corrupt uh, government from the very beginning. The only way that you're going to get something done whenever you get up in Washington, D.C. as a, a congressman or a senator is to rub elbows with your colleagues and give them what they want, and then they'll give you what you want. And uh, as long as the lobbyists uh, hold on to their uh, control of Washington, and the lobbyists, there ain't no lobbyists for the poor man, uh, then uh, you're gonna get uh, what the leftovers, as it were. You're gonna get the crumbs that drop to the floor, and you're gonna have to fight the dog to get them. So Jim Bob's take on uh, why you voted for Trump is the following. You got duped. Jim Bob's out.